Welcome back, everybody, to Farming Simulator 22. I'm an old guy gaming, and in this episode, we are going to do our third... Yeah, our third hay cutting of the year. Uh, we're going to do it in the same way we did it before, uh, where we lease those big M's that have the hitch on the back. Uh, we're also going to take a load of sugar beets over to the sugar mill and just get that topped off. Uh, we need to do a feed mixture, and... Um, I think that's primarily the goals for today's episode. Um, there is a, a Fent forage harvester on sale, but I mean, you know, I, I've tried these out on my test save and they're kind of neat, but the problem, and maybe I've even said this to you guys before, the problem with the forage harvester is that the headers are really small. Um, and so I just don't see the point in, in using this. It, and what you can do with this, if you don't already know, is you can cut and pick up the hay at the same time. But it's just that the headers are really small on these. And, you know, with the new setup, using the big M's um, and, they're, and they're, you know, 10 meter wide swath, it just makes uh, more sense to do it that way. Um, so uh, let's go ahead and jump on into here. And we're going to go to mowers and we're going to get the hitch version of the crone and we're going to lease two of these and when you know as soon as one of these the ones with the hitch comes on sale we're definitely going to uh, pick it up and did i get the bigger engine last time 603 549 i don't remember but i don't think we really need the bigger engine anyways Okay, so we're gonna lease this. Uh, so we're gonna spend about 40 grand leasing these two, but it's gonna be worth it. Uh, we're gonna bring in another probably one and a half million liters of hay. And this doesn't even include, um, you know what, two, just, just so I can kind of tell one apart from the other, let's do a dark green one. So yeah, why not? <laughs> um, what was I gonna say? Oh, and we're not actually gonna harvest the hay slash grass on 68 and, and 57 until next month i'm gonna wait till october because then we'll be able to harvest the second growth stage and get a lot more hay and then we're going to turn around in october and replant um probably wheat this time uh, on those fields so let me just double check i can do that right yeah so we can plant wheat here in october okay so let's get these guys started and then um once we get them uh off to the races we will come back and we will um, get the, get some sugar beets taken over to the sugar mill and then go from there. I decided that I'm going to hang on to that big slurry tank uh, because we're going to have to turn around and do another application of fertilizer in um, November uh, once we harvest the grain. So I'm just hanging on to it. And, you know, it's really not that expensive anyways. I might just keep it permanently, you know, at least to own... Uh, like we've been doing with so many other things. Grab this first one here. I think all the forage wagons should be uh, full of silage additive. Oh, this one is not. Okay, so yeah, we need to take that back over and, and top it off. In order for me to cut all of my hay, um, I have to I have to refill the silage additive tanks. Um, about halfway through or so, maybe a little more than halfway through. It's kind of too bad they didn't have a bit larger capacity than they do, but that's okay. We make it work. We make it work. So we're going to just continue pulling the silage additive out of this silo until it's completely empty, and then we'll sell this container off and move over to the new location that we set up in the last episode. I haven't put any additive in that silo yet. What am I stuck on? I don't know. Weird. Okay. I think there's still probably quite a bit actually left in here too. Let's see. Yeah, there's 9,800 liters left. Oh my goodness, we only... <laughs> we can only put 10 liters in a full tank. It's gonna, it's gonna be a long time before that thing empties out. Hmm, I might have to, <laughs> I might do something different with that. I mean, it's working for now, so we'll just, we'll just let it be. That's, yeah, that's kind of funny though. 
Okay, we'll get this guy started over on 71 because that's the big boy field. And then we'll get the other one going over here on our smaller field. Still pretty good size, but in, you know, in comparison. Actually, you know what? This field's not that much smaller than 71. It's pretty good size too, really, if you think about it. And uh, again, over on 57, we're going to wait until next month before we harvest it so we get that second cutting or second stage cutting, which will give us a lot more yield. All right, let's get this down here and let's start up course play here. So, oh, you know what else, too? Let's go here, and I'm going to have to change auto drive over to Silage Factory 2. Well, actually, no. Silage Factory 1 is completely empty of grass, so we probably won't have to use 2. I mean, we'll eventually... We'll, we'll, I'll tell you what, we're probably going to have to use two for, for 57 and 68, I'm guessing. I don't know. We'll see how it goes. But it can stay, the auto drive part of this can stay up as it is for now. So we want to set this to pick up and deliver. Uh, we want you to be on field 71 east load. And your unload place is going to be Silage Factory 1 unload. And you're working with grass. Okay, let's make sure we turn the course play button on. But then what we want to do here is we want to load field 71 um, three headland hand. I believe that's what that means. Load course. Activate. Let me look at it real quick and make sure that looks correct. Yeah, I think that's what we did. And we actually start right here too, so... Okay, so we want you to start at first waypoint and go to it. Oh, for Pete's sake. I just <laughs> stop. I did it again. I, <laughs> I forgot to change the swap mode on this. Oh, man, I can't take me anywhere. You know, I'm not used to having to change it because... My own big M is just always on that, but, you know, because I'm leasing these. There, now it's in swap mode. All right. Nearest waypoint. So I'll just, you know, like I had to do before, I'll catch this other, this other part myself. Okay, let's go back to the other big M. Come on, there we go. I'm gonna actually unfold it now so I don't forget to change the swap mode. All right, now we got it. We'll go pick up another forge wagon, hopefully the next one we pick up will be full of silage. Otherwise, I'll probably have to fold this back up and bring it back over. Not that that's that big of a deal, but I'd rather not have to if we don't have to. Um, we might be able to, not positive, but we might be able to purchase the large cow barn before the end of the year. Yeah, we might be able to. We'll see we'll see how things go. Cuz I mean well, I don't know, we'll see. The thing is is I'm going to also have to buy the cows um, and that's going to be you know, re relatively expensive too. So we'll see how it goes. If it's something I can do without taking a massive loan out, or, or you know, if it's just a small loan or, or can do without any loan at all, then we'll do it. If if there's going to be a loan, in, a, a significant loan involved, I think we'll just wait until after our January sales. Oh, speaking of which, uh, let's see here. 
we are in September, right? So we got some stuff that sells pretty good in September. But see, the thing is, is last time I looked at it, it was showing September good, and now it's not because it's doing the weird price fluctuation thing. So what I think I'm going to do as far as selling any product is let's just wait until September 2nd or 3rd and we'll look at it again and see if it's changed. If it hasn't, I'm probably just going to not sell anything in September. I'm talking about, you know, like our bread and our cheese and that kind of stuff. Okay, so you should be good to go. Uh, but again, we want to set you to pick up and deliver. I want you to start at 53.54 load, and I want you to unload at Silage Factory 1 unload. Turn course play on, but we're going to actually start you. Oh, crap. I don't have silage. <laughs> Man. All right. Let me go get some silage in this thing. Usually, I fill these up before I put them away, but I guess... This time around, I forgot to do it. I'm glad I checked it before I got him started, though. Okay, let's try this again. Uh, we have set the machine to swath mode, so that's done. We got auto drive set up. So now we just need to go here. Here, field 5354, spiral hay. No. For Headland. Yeah, I changed to that one. Okay, load course, activate, start a first waypoint, and let's turn that off and let them get started. Or her, as the case may be. Okay, that's looking good. Uh, let's see, now we're going to need to get a tipper. So let's jump into JCB, which I actually parked back over here. And we'll grab a trailer. Yeah, I got the JCB over here now. I ha I was parking it over in the other shed, but with... Oh, you know what we could do, though? I mean, I guess it doesn't matter. Um, But I needed to make room for that that slurry tanker so uh, but like I said after we after we get the cows the the big cow barn and get all that taken care of the very next thing is we need to we need to get a bigger shed and a garage and, and kind of up our game you know for those things how much sugar beets do we need for the sugar factory sugar beet sugar um oh wow we can put a bunch in there can't we all right you know what in that case i am gonna actually use the man truck uh with the big cramp trailer because it's the biggest trailer we have and even with that it's still gonna take a few trips so let's just hook this up for now and i <laughs> I didn't refill this one with silage additive either. My goodness. What's the matter with me? I always refill those trailers before I put them away. Maybe it was a... Those guys aren't getting messed up, are they? Okay, I think we're fine. Um, oh, by the way... He dropped off another load... In size factory one, so we can now get that started processing again. All right, anyway, um, what was I saying? I don't remember now. Oh, I think I was talking about how maybe it was like really late at night when I finally finished the hay and I didn't want to mess with it or something. <laughs> I don't know, but I'm surprised because I usually do, you know, refill these, make sure they're topped off before I put them away. So, anyway, whatever. It's all good. Okay, silage additive is in. Um, all right, so I'm not actually going to do anything, though, 
with you right now. We do want to get one of the rakes on, though. Um, yeah, the, all this stuff in here, I've showed this to you guys before, all this stuff always get mixed up when I reload the game. So I'm just going to fudge a little bit and pull this out. I would imagine in real life you probably wouldn't be able to move that easily by hand, but I'm just going to do it and not worry about it. Okay, so let's just leave you parked here for now. And we're going to jump in the man and go get several loads actually of sugar beets to take to the sugar mill but fortunately they're right next to each other so it shouldn't take us too long to do this uh, if if another one of these cramp trailers comes up on sale i'm definitely grabbing it because these are these are nice trailers they're the biggest base game tipper in the uh you know that there is that's not a mod now some of the chaser bins have even larger capacity but in terms of just a straight up tipper i don't think anything else in the base game that has that oh what in the world there's a tree there <laughs> what okay hold on i'm sitting here yakking and not paying attention um Okay, so what we have to do here is this is going to be a little tight. This is actually the first time I've loaded or, or unloaded sugar beets from this shed. So we just need to... Is that good enough? Can we... Uh, sugar beets, yep. Yeah. Look at that, man. 539,000 liters of sugar beets. It's a lot of sugar beets. Oh, don't spill it. There we go. I don't think it actually spills. It just looks like it is. And fortunately, it it will fill the rest of the trailer up, even though I'm still dumping it way in the front in there. This is such a neat mod, though. I, I really like this shed. Okay, we don't want to drive off the edge of that. I was going to actually come back along here and do something different with this bank. Because it looks kind of weird that it's all gravelly. In fact, you know what? Let's just do it right now. Um, all I really want to do is go to landscaping and painting. And maybe... Just do something like this. Because it doesn't look right for the gravel to be all the way down the bank like it is. Yeah, that's a little more realistic, I suppose. I'm not worried about putting plants there. It's not like we spend a lot of time over here anyway, but still. I want it to look good. Okay, so we come around through here. And then we just do a hard left. Start filling her up. Okay, so we have about just a tad under 60,000 liters in this trailer. So how many more loads is it going to take to fill this? We're at 153. Oh, man. A lot. <laughs> probably, yeah, probably seven to eight more loads ish. Okay, well, if that's what we got to do. That's what we got to do. Technically, we didn't really have to fill it up at all right now, but I decided we'd do it, so we're doing it. You know what I think I'm going to do, though, just for good measure? Well, actually, maybe I'm not going to do that for good measure. This is really tight getting in here. Um, 
What might actually be better is if I back it in. I don't really technically need to do that, but... I don't know, it'll make me feel better about myself. How's that? Okay, so what we're going to do is we're going to... We're going to back in here. Can't be any worse than back in in American Truck Simulator, which, by the way, I know I said I was going to resume that series and I just haven't gotten around to it. That's partly because Silver Run Forest has completely been dominating. <laughs> well, not dominating, but I've been having a good time playing it, put it that way. But at some point, it is in my plans to resume or maybe even just start over ATS, but I don't think that's going to happen immediately. Okay, so, man, this is really hard to get into. Okay, there we go. There we go. All right. Okay, guys, well, I'm going to just keep um, filling up the sugar factory until we get it plumb full again with these sugar beets. And then... Um, Check up on the tractors, see how they're doing, and I will bring you guys back with an update here in a little while. All right, guys, we have one more uh, load <clears throat> to go, about 30,000. Uh, it's actually more like about 28,000 liters. So I actually oh, um, overestimated how many loads we needed. So uh, I found it easiest to come through here. It's a little bit of a tight turn, but it's doable. Well, okay. Um, believe it or not, that's the first time I got caught on there. I was, was fine. <laughs> off camera, of course, naturally, right? Um, and then basically what I was just doing is coming around like this. And then pulling in. To here, so we're getting right underneath the the conveyor, and then we just back out when it's done. So, all right, I want to stop it at about twenty-eight thousand ish. Three, three, four, six, seven. Okay, that's good enough. That'll very nearly completely fill it without us having to then dump some back off. Um, and then, yeah, then I would, except for I was turning my wheels the wrong way, uh, just kind of back around like so and pull out this way. But, yeah, <laughs> definitely a tight, a tight situation there for sure. Okay. Let's get this last little bit in here, and then our sugar mill will be topped off. And we won't have to pretty much do anything with it for a couple another years. Um, all right, how, ma how many sugar beets do I have left in storage? We have 273,000. Okay, so we don't have quite another full factories load, but we still have quite a bit. So we probably will have to do another sugar beet harvest at some point before this series is over. Uh, but, I mean, we're, we're good for, I'd say, at least two more years before we even have to worry about it at all. So that's not too bad. All right. So let's see. Let's do a quick check on our... Well, actually, I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to park this back in the barn first. And then we'll do a quick check on our, our mowers. And if all is well with them, I'm going to jump in my big M and start cutting the the fringe grass or the side the side areas I guess including uh, 71 south nice camera right in our face there okay so let's tab out okay, you have 67 percent silage additive and you seem to be doing just fine okay you are driving a little too fast, but you you have 60% silage additive and you're coming in for the next load. So yeah, I think these guys are in great shape. So what I'm going to do is, as mentioned, jump in this big M. 
and start cutting uh, the grass that I need to cut with this. And then once that's done, then we'll jump in the JCB and start picking up, doing the cleanup work for the other guys and then and picking up the fringe grass and stuff like that. Okay, let's do this. so much lately about your face when you're smiling it's the only thing that saves me mm -mm. hey i don't know if i told you that i think you're beautiful and how oh, i can't wait to hold you yeah you pull me up when i'm falling down and i don't know what I would do without you, yeah, you pull me up when I'm falling down. Hey, now look into my eyes, you can use them as a mirror, baby. You're my ticket to paradise. Hey, now everything's alright, we've been longing for each other. This is something that I know for sure It's just something about you I just want more Tell me what you want to do right now Tell me what you want to do tonight I really don't care as long as I'm with you Hey, now look into my eyes You can use them as a mirror, baby You're my ticket to paradise can use them as a mirror you're my ticket to paradise hey now look into my eyes you can use them as a mirror baby you're my ticket to paradise guys that should take care of all the mowing uh, <coughs> I'll leave the big M out though anyway just in case um, there's a few more spots I have to clean up after him well actually you know what I do have I'm I am gonna have some spots on excuse me on 70 to clean up and uh, maybe we'll actually just go do that right now so yeah let's get that knocked out real quick and then uh, that should take care of the bulk of the mowing anyways. I was a little too far over on this side too, so let's, um, if you get too far over, then the mower's off the land and then it won't, you know, pick up the stuff on the edge. But if we get in a little more, then we should be able to grab a little bit of this anyway. All right. Now, let's go back over to 70. And we have a little bit of 
cleanup to do here. Not too bad though, really. And then we'll probably have to hit a couple corners down here. Now when he starts on the up and downs, I'm going to have to hit a strip on that for him too. But in fact, looks like he is already starting on the up and downs. Yeah, but I kind of need to wait for him to finish before I can really tell uh, what needs to be cleaned up. You can see a little bit over here what's going on. Let's grab this. And he's probably going to Yeah, as, there's not a whole lot of point in me trying to guess on that right now just because I'll inevitably miss some of it and have to come back and do it later anyway. So we'll just keep the big M over on 71 here and wait until he's done and then I'll do the final cleanup at that point. Looks, looks like it's pretty good over here. So yeah, let's just park right here. it up good all right so now we hop over to the JCB and uh, let me put my HUD back on yeah we got a full thing of silage and now I go around pretty much all the areas I just went over and start picking the hay up so let's see i think yeah i think i'm gonna wrap up the episode here guys uh, we're about at time anyways and so i'm gonna finish up this hay harvest and then i will bring you back either on september 2nd or september 3rd if the prices jump back up for the items i can sell in september if they don't then i'm probably going to move all the way into october We'll have uh, 68 and 57 to harvest the hay, and then we're going to flip those back over to wheat. So at some point between now and then, I will bring you guys back to start the next episode, and we will go from there. So I hope you guys enjoyed this episode. If you did, please hit that like button and subscribe to the channel. Leave a comment and share out the video, and we will catch you in the next episode. Bye-bye.